Hello, welcome to Red Ted Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable grass head. He's out of my book, Red Ted Art. Do you get a copy? But let's get making. He's so fun to make and my kids adore them. And it's something that they like doing every year. What you will need is an old pair of tights or stockings. Um, you know, ones that's got holes in them already so you can't really use them anymore. You begin, you will also need sorry, some grass seeds, some compost or earth from the garden um, an elastic band that's a bit easier but you can use ribbon or thread and obviously some things to decorate with so this one's got a nice little hole here already don't need that anymore so I'm going to open up my pipes I'm called pipes in the UK open up my grass seed I should have got these ready shouldn't I and then right at the bottom of your tights you put about um, you know two good pinches, which is probably two tablespoons full. So do a nice generous amount. Actually, I might do a tiny bit more because I like our grass heads to be really, really, really um, grassy, basically. So you've got your grass at the bottom. Shake it, shake it down. Da -da -da. Shake it, shake it right to the bottom. There we go. And then you start adding your compost or your dirt. Now I'm going to just use my fingers. You could choose to use it, do, do it with a spoon, but we just like to stuff it in. So just go and stuff it all the way in. Now on the blog, again I can add links to my site, I also have a fabulous grass caterpillar made in exactly the same way that one of my Facebook readers sent to me and shared the photo. It was just so, so cute. So again, you need to get all the compost right to the bottom. I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. You're gonna have a nice tight ball. It looks a bit messy, doesn't it? But it's only, you know, this earth is not dirty. It's just nice and natural. So squish it all the way down. I think I want mine to be a bit bigger than this. Don't worry if you've got a little hole where the head is. It doesn't matter, it's all part of the charm and gives your um, guys lots of character. So if you roll up your tights, like I have started and then kind of went a bit messy, it is easier. But I think sometimes when I'm doing these videos, I'm in such a hurry to show you what I'm making that it all gets a bit unprepared. So, let's see, is that a good size ball? I think that's a good size. Now, so you've got it in there. Now what you need to do is, is really push it Make it nice and tight. So, a nice round shape like this. Here we go. And then once you've got the size that you like, you can see all the grass seeds at the top, so that's good. You take your scissors. In fact, you could probably cut this earlier on as well. Don't cut it too short, because you do need um, this as part of your watering mechanism, right? So do not cut it too short. So cut it, take, turn it around, tie a little knot. Like so. I have a nice dirty fingernails now for this video, but at least you've seen me making, so it's all right. I'm going to get as close down to the bottom as possible. And there you go. Now you choose roughly where you want your face. I'm going to have it like here because I, I want this seam at the top. Um, and then all you have to do is pinch for the nose. Now I'm going to use a little elastic band to secure it because that makes it really easy. And also a lot easier for, for children. If the elastic band bothers you and you don't like the look of it, just use a bit of th cotton or thread. Squish it on like that. Look at that. It doesn't matter if this is at the slightly to an angle. Here we go. Squish it all around. And then you're ready to add a face. Now, when my daughter sees this when we get when she gets home from school, I can guarantee you we're going to be making another one. She's been asking, can we make one for ages? I totally understand because we do like it. So just a little bit of glue. I mean, your grass head will get wet, so obviously, you know, a good PVA glue is better so that it, it does stay. But it shouldn't get too wet and that, it, you know, it shouldn't make the glue dissolve. Stick on your googly eyes. One, two, oh goodness, isn't he adorable? A nice, happy smile. 
and that's your grass head ready to go. Now, um, one of my readers also wrote to tell me that she made a whole bunch of these and she put them into um, party bags as little gifts, which I thought was a lovely, lovely idea. Now, I'm just gonna get a jar over here. I thought this was such a cool party bag idea. Now, when now that this is finished, what you need to do is you get a jar or glass, something like this, fill it with water, maybe halfway, pop your head in, like so, and then the water will travel up the tight and make sure that your grass head gets nice and wet and moisture. You know, so what you could do at the beginning, you could actually dunk it in water just to get the seed stamp. But having said that, it should be enough because the water will travel up and that's how you look after your grass head. And it's a great activity for children because it forces them or forces them. It gets them to think about their plants, looking after them, watering them regularly. And then once the hair grows, you get to trim it. Really good fun. And one last thing, you could decorate your jar as well. You could decorate it in such a way that he looks like he's got a little shirt on or you could just um, put tissue paper all over it. You know, just your, your, your choice. But I think this is such a sweet craft and my kids adore it. So. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you here on Red Ted Art again soon. Don't forget to subscribe.